Zhang incorporated her sole proprietorship by transferring inventory, a building, and land to the corporation in return for 100% of the corporation's stock. The property transferred to the corporation had the following fair market values and adjusted bases. Okay, so we can see that the fair market value of the inventory was 36,000, the building 270, and the land 414. The adjusted basis was 18,000, 180,000, and 540,000. Okay, now it also tells us that the corporation also assumed a mortgage of 100000 attached to the building and land. Fair market value of the corporation stock received in the exchange was 620000 that's that number there, and the transaction met the requirement to be tax deferred under Section 351. All right, so look at this question C. What is Zhang's tax basis in the stock she receives in the exchange? All right, well, what we have to do is we have to take the substituted basis of the assets transferred, and that's the 738. So we take the adjusted basis, which becomes the substituted basis, less the mortgage assumed by the corporation. Okay, so that's her tax basis, the 738 less the substituted or less the mortgage assumed. So 738 less 100,000, the answer to C is 638,000. Now, let's look at D. D says, what's the corporation's adjusted basis in each of the assets received in the exchange? Okay, now I put the solution on the screen so that you can see it. The corporation receives a carryover basis in the assets received from Zhang, reduced by the aggregate net built-in loss on the assets transferred which gets allocated to the land. Okay, so the inventory comes in at 18,000, the building at 180,000, and then we take the land less the 18,000 aggregate net built-in loss on the assets transferred.